Hello, my name is Murad Larbi. In this nine minutes tutorial, I will show you how to make a MATLAB Octave program to solve a nonlinear equation by using the bisection method. The bisection method is based on the fact that a root of an equation is the point where its curve crosses the x-axis. In other words, when y is equal to zero. For example, this is the graph of the equation to x squared minus 5x plus 3. Now, we notice here that the curve of the equation crosses the x-axis at two points, which are the roots. Now, at x equals to 1, we notice that the root uh, crosses the x-axis where uh, y is equal to 0. So just before the root, the, va the values of y are positive. And after the root, the values of y are negative. On the other hand, for the, for the second root, the values of y before the root are negative and after the root are positive. So we can conclude that we can find the root if we uh, detect the uh, region where y changes its sign from positive to negative or negative to uh, positive. The bisection method searches for the point which is located between two values of x where the corresponding values of y have different signs. So let's see how the method works by using this figure. Now, first we should assume two values which form the initial interval, x1 and x2. Then we compute the corresponding values y1 and y2. If y1 and y2 have different or opposite signs, that means the root is located somewhere between x1 and x2. If the signs of y1 and y2 are the same, that means there's no root between x1 and x2. Now, if we have a root between x1 and x2, we start the bisectioning procedure. So we compute the value of xh, and then we make a check again by uh, seeing the difference between the value of yh and y1 to see if the root is located in the first half interval or in the second half interval. So if the, the signs of y1 and yh are uh, opposite, that means the root is located in the first half interval else it will be in the second half. Now, in this case, we see that it is in the first half, so we repeat, so first, before bisectioning, we give the uh, sign, or uh, let's say the uh, value of x2, to xh. That means we create a new value to, or give an, the value of xh to x2 to uh, create a new interval, x1, and x2 and discard the old value value of x2. Now we divide the uh, uh, new interval again at the point xh. So we will get a new yh here and this will be y2. Now again we repeat the check between x1 and xh and we notice that the uh, root is located in the second half interval of the new interval. So this will be x1, and we'll discard x1, and so on. And we will notice that at every bisection, the values of x will approach to the root, and the values of y will approach to zero. And this will be criteria of the uh, convergence or for the solution. Now, uh, we can go to see uh, our uh, example in order to uh, code this method uh, uh, to find the roots of the 
given equation. So we have the equation 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. So our first step is to put the uh, equation in the form of a function y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Then we will go to the uh, Octave or MATLAB uh, uh, editor in order to start uh, our uh, code. So let's start coding. The first step will be to define the function. So we define the function, the given 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Then we will ask the user to input two values x1 and x2 the values of the interval where he expects the root is uh, located now we make a condition if y correspondent to x1 and y correspondent to x2 have the same sign because when we multiply two values and both have the same sign of course the product will be positive if they have different signs, the product will be negative. Now, if the product is positive, that means they have the same sign. That means no root exists within the given interval. We stop the run of the code. We return to the console or stop the run and uh, we'll uh, make a new run in order to input a new values of x1 and x2. If the values or uh, the uh, products are uh, negative or not uh, uh, larger than zero, that means we have a, a root. Now we make a small uh, detection or ex uh, test in order to see if even accidentally sometimes the given value of x1 could be a root. So we make a check if y of x1 is equal to zero so if it is equal to zero that means x1 is one of the roots and we print this message and uh, stop the run now check again the x2 and we see that if uh, y uh, of x2 is equal to zero also we get the same message and uh, stop the run now if all these uh, func uh, conditions uh, are not satisfied, that means we have to go directly to the bisectioning procedure and start. This is the loop. This loop, we try about 100 bisections uh, because if the convergence happens, we will break the loop. So actually, this is an arbitrary number for bisectioning. Now we uh, compute uh, xh and then we make a check y of x1 and xh. If they are less than zero, that means there's a root between x1 and xh. Now we let we create a new interval by calling x2 as xh or given the value of xh to x2 in order to create the new interval. If uh, the uh, values are not less than zero, that means the root is in the second half interval and we make x1 uh, at the location of x edge. Now we make check for the uh, convergence. If the y of x uh, corresponding to x1 is less than or very small value, that means it approaches to zero, that means we obtain the solution, we break the loop and print the result. Now let's make a run for the code and we see. So let's input two values, for example, 0 0.6 and uh, 1.2. So the root is 1 and we obtained it in 19 uh, bisections. Now let's try again and we say, for example, 1.2 and 1. Uh, point 0.9 so the root is 1.5 so in this way we can get the roots if the uh, range embraces now let's try uh, another or final test uh, let's say 2 and 4 so no roots between the existing points this is the bisection method thank you for listening goodbye